Hey everyone, Ben from Snowboard Gamer. In this video, I'll be showing you 10 great board games that you can give as gifts to your friends and family. These are all good family weight games. Most of them are for ages eight and up. They all play in less than an hour. When most people think of board games, they think of the classics like Clue, Monopoly, Sorry. These are not those board games. I call these modern board games. They've all come out in the last 10 years, I would say, and board games have come a long ways. Hopefully this gives you some great ideas for some gifts. I'm gonna spend one to two minutes talking about each one. I've shuffled my uh, cards here and we'll do it in random order. First one is Sheriff of Nottingham. Sheriff of Nottingham is for three to five players ages 13 and up and plays in 60 minutes. In Sheriff of Nottingham, everyone is getting goods and they're loading them up in their cart and they're trying to get their cart into Nottingham. And you take turns being the sheriff, you take cards from the middle, you load them up in a bag, snap it shut, and then you declare what you're bringing into Nottingham to the sheriff. The sheriff has to decide whether to inspect you or not. If you say you put four apples in your bag and it's actually four apples and he inspected you, the sheriff has to pay you. But if you snuck a contraband in, which is worth more points at the end of the game, and then, then the sheriff busts you and you don't get the points for the contraband, and then you have to pay the sheriff. So it's a bluffing game. The more contraband you can sneak through, the more points you're gonna get. Or you can stick with just the basic goods that are allowed, and there are end game bonuses for whoever got the most apples, the most cheese. This is a really fun game and great with families and adults. Full retail price of Sheriff of Nottingham is $35, but you can usually find it for around $20 at Amazon and Target. And I just checked, it's $20 right now on Amazon. I'm going to link all of these board games in the description here, so if you wanna go check them out, you can go check them out there. Next one up is King of Tokyo. King of Tokyo is for two to six players ages eight and up and plays in 30 minutes. In King of Tokyo, you have these big monsters that are trying to take over Tokyo, kind of like Godzilla. It's kind of like King of the Hill. You're either in Tokyo or you're not. And if you're in Tokyo, you're damaging everyone else. If you're outside of Tokyo, you're damaging whoever's in Tokyo. And then you have to decide when you're gonna abandon Tokyo and get out. You're racing to either 20 points or to be the last one standing. It's got that Yahtzee feel to it. You roll dice and you get up to two more re-rolls and the dice can either give you points, they can attack the other monsters, you can heal, you can get these little cubes which lets you buy cards which give you a few extra abilities. So it's, it's definitely Yahtzee to the next level and a great family fun game. King of Tokyo retails for $40, but right now it's $30 on Amazon. Next one up is Potion Explosion. Potion Explosion is for two to four players ages eight and up and plays in 30 to 45 minutes. This one is the most expensive of these 10, retailing at 50, but you can find it on Amazon for 40 right now. So for two to four players ages eight and up and plays in 30 to 45 minutes. Potion Explosion is kind of like Candy Crush in board game form. You dump all these marbles in a dispenser and they roll down in five tracks. On your turn, you take one of the marbles out. When the marbles roll down, if similar marbles collide, they cause an explosion and you get those also. So you can have these multiple trickle down chain reaction explosions getting a ton of marbles. And what you're trying to do is fill these potion orders there are these potions that say you need two reds and two yellows, for example, and then you score some points at the end of the game for that. You also get an extra ability, like being able to take an extra marble from the dispenser or being able to take one of each color from the bottom. This is a really fun game. It is my wife's favorite game. You can't go wrong with Potion Explosion. Next up is the card game, Coup. Coup is for two to six players ages 10 and up and plays in about 15 minutes. In Coup, each person controls two people on the high courts of the government, represented by two cards that are dealt face down in front of you, and only you know what those cards are. And those are the two people you control. You go around the table taking turns, taking one action of any of the five characters. It's a deck of 15 cards, three of each character. Here's the catch though. You can take any of the actions, whether you have that character or not, but if someone calls you out on it and busts you, and you don't have that character, you lose one of your two cards. But if they call you out, and they're wrong, you actually do have the character, you show it, shuffle it back in, get a new one dealt, and they lose one of their cards. So there's challenges, there's bluffing, it's kind of like BS, but next level. This one is awesome, everyone I've introduced it to has absolutely loved Coup. And it's a quick, fun game, easy to get to the table. Coup retails for $15, on Amazon right now it's 12. The next game on my list is King Domino. King Domino is for two to four players ages eight and up and plays in 15 minutes. King Domino won Board Game of the Year in 2017 and it is a much better version of Domino's. 
The king has this little symbol, which is how you score points. The dominoes, instead of having numbers, have different terrain on them, like grassland, water, mountainous regions, desert. Some of the pieces have little kings on them. And at the end of the day, for each section that you've linked together with all the different terrain that are the same type, times the number of kings in that is your final score. Very simple, but there's a lot of strategy in this game and it's very fun. And it's for ages eight and up, so even eight-year-olds can play it. This one is four player, you're creating a five by five grid. In two player, you're doing a seven by seven grid. This game is a blast. We've played a ton of this one. I highly recommend it. Great game to give as a gift. It is $20 retail. You can find it anywhere from 12 to 16. Right now I checked at 16 on Amazon. I've seen it on sale as low as $12 though. I really enjoy King Domino. The next one on my list is Emotep. Emotep is for two to four players ages 10 and up and plays in 40 minutes. In Emotep, you're taking stones from the quarry, putting them on your little cart, and then putting them on boats and eventually sailing the boats over to different destinations to build pyramids, obelisks, burial tombs. On one boat, there might be three or four spots and you can have three or four different cubes, which are the stones, from different people. And then once the boat sails, it unloads and everyone scores points differently. Each destination they land at scores them slightly differently. I really enjoy Emotep. It's one of those games that just, it gets better the more you play it. And this is a great modern board game that will work with families as for ages 10 and up. Check out Emotep. It retails for $40, but right now on Amazon, it's only $20. That's a really good deal. Next up is Sushi Go. Sushi Go is for two to five players ages eight and up and plays in 15 minutes. This is what they call the pick and pass card game. Another term for this is card drafting. The way it plays is everyone gets dealt a hand of cards and on your turn, you choose one card, put it face down and pass the rest to your neighbor. Everyone passes the same direction. And then once everyone's ready, you all play your card and the cards do different things to score you points. Some cards, uh, you have to collect three of a kind and then you'll score points. There are some that you can dip in wasabi and then you'll double the value of them. Some of them, the more you have, the more points you score. So there's a lot of different ways to score points. It's not just collecting similar cards. This one is a great intro game to card drafting games and it plays very quickly. It's always a lot of fun when we play it. There's also a party version, which will take it up to eight players and adds a little bit more variety because you don't always play with the same cards. You mix it up each game. This one's a lot of fun. Full retail price on Sushi Go is 15, but you can get it on Amazon for 11 right now. And I found it in Target for 11 as well. Next up is Wits and Wagers. This is the one party game that I included on the list. This is one of our favorite party games. It's trivia, but you don't have to be good at trivia to win this game. Because what happens is you have a mat in the middle of the table and every question, the answer is a number. And you write your number down. It might be, for example, how many points did Michael Jordan score in his career? And then everybody writes the number down. You sort them highest to lowest. And the further you are away from the median, the bigger the payout is on the correct answer. Everyone has two betting tokens that they start with and you bet on what you think the correct answer is, which is the closest without going over. So you don't even have to be good at trivia, but once all the answers are out, oh, you know what? Bob is good at sports and he knows the answer to this one. So I'm betting on Bob. And if you're right, you get the payout two to one, three to one. There's even a payout for six to one if you think the answer is lower than everything on the table. You play seven rounds. It goes up to seven players, but really 14, 21, whatever number you want. You, can, you just start making teams at that point. So you could play with 10, with 14, you would have seven teams of two and then you discuss and then figure out what you wanna to do together. This one goes up to large player counts. Always a hit when I pull it out with a lot of people. Wits and Wagers retails for 25, but you can find it at Target for 20 right now. Next up is Love Letter. Love Letter is for two to four players, ages 10 and up, and plays in 20 minutes. Love Letter is a card game played with a deck of 16 cards. In Love Letter, you're trying to deliver a love letter to the princess. The cards are numbered one through eight, there's various spreads of, of how many of each type of card there are. It's amazing what they've crammed into a, such a small deck of cards. The princess is number eight, and whoever at the end of the round has the highest card wins a token of affection. And the first of four tokens wins. Here's the catch though. If you get the number eight card, that's awesome. You might think you're gonna win with that. Not necessarily. The number one card, which is a guard, allows you to get, knock a player out of the round if you can correctly guess what card they have. Then the number five card will force someone to discard their card. 
And if you have the princess and you, you have to discard your card, then you're out of the round. So there's all these different nuances with each card of how they all work together. It's just a lot of fun, easy to play, easy to pick up, and it's cheap. It's 12 bucks wherever you get it. Last one is Las Vegas. Las Vegas is for two to five players ages eight and up and plays in 30 minutes. Las Vegas is a dice rolling game where you're placing different dice on the casinos. There's casinos numbered one through six in the middle of the table. And on your turn, you roll your eight dice to start with, and then you choose one number and put all the dice of that number on that casino. And you keep going around and round. In front of each casino, are certain denominations of money that you get if you win that casino. And you win it by having the most dice on that casino. Here's the catch though. If two people tie, they take their dice back before payouts happen. So there's a lot of crazy moments in this game where you get down to your last die or two and you roll them and you beat someone else out or you tie it and someone else sneaks in and gets the money from that casino. This one is a lot of fun. The version that I have is on Amazon now for 22. There's also a version in a black box that looks like a die that you can get at Target or Walmart and it's 15 to $20 there. It's the same game. I like this one because it's got fake casinos and artwork on it. It's really nice. The one from Target and Walmart is kind of generic looking, but it's the same game. It plays the same way. It's just as fun, just not as pretty. Hopefully this gave you some ideas of some gifts that you can give to your friends and family this holiday season. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribing for more board game videos. Thanks everyone. Bye.